Hello guys, it's me, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, <laughs> we're going to be a little bit controversial because I am going to be showing you guys a Jeffree Star Cosmetics haul and a new lippy try-on video. Now, I know a lot of people do not like Jeffree Star. I get it. Okay, that's fine. That's your prerogative. Me personally, I love his makeup. Always have, always will. If you are someone who is not a fan of Jeffree Star, one, that is totally fine. Two, if this video is going to upset you in any way, go ahead and click on out of it. I have always been a fan of Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. Ever since he came out with his very first liquid lipstick, I have always been a fan of them. I have over 20 of them. I have so many of them. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the ones that I got. I'm going to be trying them on. I have a total of five of them. I have three velour liquid lipsticks and I have two velvet trap lipsticks. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first liquid lip that I want to show you guys, I actually have it on my lips today. Today. I could not wait. I had to wear it for filming today. And it is this beautiful, gorgeous nude color. And this is in the shade Hidden Hills. It is a beautiful nude color. It really kind of reminds me of Celebrity Skin. That is my all-time favorite Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick that he has ever come out with. Here is what the little component looks like. It has the pink top, which basically tells you that this is part of his permanent line. And when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it and it is absolutely beautiful. Like, I don't know if you guys can see just how gorgeous this freaking lip color is. I'm living for it. I love it. I want more of it. It is so pretty. I am going to move you guys in pretty close just so you can kind of see what the lipsticks look like up close. So this is a liquid lipstick formula. It dries down completely matte. It is 100% transfer proof and every single one of his lipsticks kind of has like a fresh root beery type scent which I really do like. It's really great. These go for about $18 on his site. This is the first lipstick that I really really wanted to show you guys. Really pretty. Again this one is called Hidden Hills. It's like that perfect nude color. It is a little bit more on the darker side of the nude but I really like it. So here is what Hidden Hills looks like on the lips. I really really like it. Oh my gosh this one's probably my favorite so far but as this video goes on it'll probably change and I'll probably have a different favorite. So since I'm doing a try on video, um, rest in peace to my lips. The next velour liquid lipstick shade that I really want to show you guys is this one and this one is Jeffree's Nudes. So it is another nude color. A great majority are nude colors because that's just what I mostly wear. Um, this one is a little bit lighter as you can see so here is it next to Hidden Hills. This one, oh my gosh, this one kind of has a mix of, it kind of looks like mannequin in a little, I don't know, it just, it reminds me of mannequin which is another one of my favorite lipsticks that he has in his permanent line. But it is a lot lighter so we are going to see how this looks on my lips because I don't know if it's going to be like too too nude. I mean you guys know I love a good concealer nude but we're gonna see how this looks. I have a little makeup eraser. I have not bought makeup wipes in freaking forever. I use these makeup eraser cloths all the time. They are machine washable and it does such a good job of removing makeup. And as you can see, these lipsticks are ridiculously matte because it is taking me a minute to kind of scrub this guy off here. Oh, rest in peace to my lips already. I'm gonna shake her up a little bit because it always says shake well before use and we're going to open this guy up and we're going to apply it. Oh bitch. Oh this is bringing me back. Okay so here is what Jeffree's nudes look like on the lips. Now it is still drying down matte but I was right this is like a full on concealer nude color. This is really bringing me back. I used to always, always wear concealer on my lips with a bright pink lip gloss over top. Like, can I get a, can I get an amen early 2000s? What's up, girl? This is definitely giving me those vibes, and it actually kind of reminds me of, which one is it? It definitely reminds me of this shade, which this is one that I have already owned, and this is the shade I'm nude. So if we put... So we have Jeffree's Nudes over here and I'm Nude over here. You can tell they look a little bit similar, 
This one is a little bit more like pinky nude and this one is more of like a brownie type nude. I don't really know if I like this one all that much because it is, it's very nude, okay? Like this would be, um, this is the kind of lipstick that I would definitely wear like a gloss over top of it. For example, uh, like this one right here or no. Which one? This one? I feel like this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we are going to have a full flashback right here. So I'm going to put a Jeffree Star lip gloss over top of this one just for shits and giggles to see what it looks like. This one is Control Freak and it's like a pink lip gloss. Oh my gosh, we are literally going to bring me back to high school. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys, this is literally what my lips used to look like in high school, maybe even a little bit more on the nude side. This is insane, okay? Like, this, Jeffree's Nudes is freaking, it's nude, all right? Like, this is bare, naked booty nude, all right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I don't think I will get much use out of this one because it is very, very nude. And then the next liquid lipstick that I have is another Velour liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Tea Bag. Getting a little bit sexual with it, are we? I mean, it wouldn't be Jeffree Star if there wasn't some sort of sexual reference. And this one is a very very cool color. I really, really like it. So where is Hidden Hills? So here's Hidden Hills, the first one that I showed you guys, and here is Tea Bag. As you can see, they are very similar, but Tea Bag looks to be a little bit darker. I feel like they're going to look very similar on the lips, and this one really, really drew my attention because it is like that classic celebrity skin type nude color that I personally really, really like. Oh, the pain. I have a feeling I'm really, really going to like this one. So let's go ahead and try it on the lips. Uh, uh-huh. Yep. Okay, this color fucking slaps. I love this color. So, like I said, it is very similar to Hidden Hills, but this one is just maybe a tinge or two darker than Hidden Hills. But I really like it. Like, whenever I wear nude lipsticks, I definitely look for this kind of shade or anything kind of like Hidden Hills, Celebrity Skin, Mannequin. Anything along those lines are definitely what I go for. So, this shade Tea Bag is really, really pretty. I still think that Hidden Hills is still my favorite one out of all the ones that I've tried so far. But Tea Bag is definitely a close second. I like how matte they dry down and I like that they're transfer proof. I like that I can wear it all day and I don't have to worry about it transferring off or getting weird looking or anything like that. So Tea Bag, two thumbs up. Those are thumbs, not these. These are thumbs. Okay, and we have two Velvet Trap lipsticks that I really want to try. I did order three of them soon after they got released and I absolutely love, 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 love the formula of them. So I went on and I got a couple more just to add to my collection. First off, the packaging of these, bitch, fuck me up, pull my hair and call me Sally. These are amazing. I love the packaging. I really like how they have a magnetic clasp. So you don't have to worry about it like snapping or twisting it the right way. It has a magnetic clasp, so it just stays shut like that. I love the bullet little, you know, kind of like a little hidden sex toy look to this one. I like the matte pink. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of the packaging and the formula. <sighs> don't even get me started. The formula of these are absolutely freaking amazing. I love these. So I did get two colors in this one. The last one that I'm going to wear is definitely more of a uh, dramatic color that I'm really excited about, but I'm going to save that one for last because I have a feeling that one is just going to make a fucking mess. So the first one that we are going to try on is this guy right here, and this is in the shade Nudist Colony. Now, I don't wear pinky lipsticks all that often, but when I do, there's something like this. So hopefully you guys can see that okay, but the actual lipstick, oh my gosh, I love how they did this. It has the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo all around the bullet. It is seriously so cool, so creative. I love it. And these lipsticks truly look like velvet. It is the coolest thing ever. They look so soft, so yummy. So I cannot wait to see what this one looks like on the lips. All right, so let's go ahead and remove tea bag. Oh my God, you guys, my lips already hurt. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put on Nudist Colony. Oh my gosh, and the formula of this is so creamy, so opaque. It literally goes on with one swipe, so let's see what this one looks like. Okay, you guys, so again, I am getting major flashbacks to high school. This color truly reminds me of Snob by MAC. I used to wear that lipstick all the time. Kind of in like my early days of YouTube, I used to love that lipstick. And this one really kind of reminds me of that. It does make my teeth look a little bit yellow. Eh, I don't really know, honestly. I mean, it's a pretty color, but I feel like it matches my septum ring really well. I mean, so that that's cool, right? But I don't know. I just, I feel like it's a little, it's a little, it washes me out just a tad. And, but at the same time, I kind of like it because I'm getting major like high school flashbacks, like with the smoky eye and the really nude lip. I don't know, you guys. I'm just, I'm getting, I'm getting some feelings here. I'm getting some feelings. So, I mean, do I hate it? No. Am I a huge fan of it? No. I think it is a little too pale for my liking, uh, but that's just me. Okay, guys, and we have one more Velvet Trap lipstick to try, and like I said, this one is the most dramatic. This one is definitely out there, but I'm very, very excited. I do have the kind of liquid lipstick version of this, but this one is a totally different shade with a different name and everything, and I'm really excited about it. First of all, the name is awesome, and the color is uh, very dramatic, but this one is a lipstick. Oh my god, did you guys hear my stomach? Oof, your girl should probably eat soon. This one is in the shade Pure Hell. So this is a Velvet Trap formula in a black lipstick. Like I said, the name is Pure Hell, which I absolutely love that name. I cannot wait to see what this one is going to look like. And I saved this one for last because this is one that I'm probably going to wear the rest of the day because uh, this could get a little bit messy, but I'm excited about it. So we are going to be trying this bad lad again. This just, it looks so yummy, so delicious. It has like the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo all around the bullet. I'm, I'm living, living for this shade. So we are going to remove Nudist Colony and we're going to try on Pure Hell. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And the good thing about the Velvet Trap lipsticks is they are not liquid lipsticks. They do have a very cream finish. They're very comfortable on the lips and they're easy to remove. So... This just makes my job a hell of a lot easier. A black lip liner just to kind of outline my lips and keep the lipstick in barriers because I don't know what it is, but every time I have a lipstick where it's very dramatic in color like this, I just make an absolute fucking mess when I'm trying to apply it. So we're gonna be using this. This is just a black eyeliner. We're gonna outline my lips and we're gonna put this on the inside just so we kind of have a barrier where we know we need to stay. You know what I mean? So let's let let's just get to it. I'm very, very excited for this one. All right, let's make these lips look a little bit hellish, shall we? Oh yeah. This color is so so cool. So you guys know the infamous Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks shade in the shade Weirdo. This one is very, very similar to it. I definitely still see that kind of like bluish, greeny undertone that Weirdo has. Also see it with this one as well. Now this one is a totally different name. Like I said, this one is called Pure Hell, but I definitely am getting Weirdo vibes from it. It definitely has that like bluey green undertone. So this one is very cool. Again, it's very, very creamy. It goes on like a dream. This one was not as opaque at first as with all the other Velvet Trap lipsticks. I don't know if that's because it's a more dramatic color. If it's darker, I don't really know. But that's just one of the things that I noticed with this one. This one took a couple of swipes on the lips to get that full opaque coverage. But nonetheless, I'm living for it. And anyway, when I do apply lipsticks, I always put on way more than I need to. One thing I will say about this one, as opposed to Nudist Colony, is this one makes my teeth look very, very white, which I'm living for. So I definitely love this lipstick. I feel like you can never go wrong with a black lipstick. I use a lot of black lipstick during like the Halloween season when I do my Halloween look. So a black lipstick is always needed in my collection, in my opinion. Like, look at that. We are serving up like pure gothic vibes right now. 
It feels absolutely amazing on the lips. It's not drying. It feels very comfortable on the lips. Now, these ones, as opposed to like the lip ammunitions or the Velour liquid lipsticks, these ones will transfer. So if I were to like, you know, kiss, you know, there is going to be a little bit of transfer. Not a whole bunch, but I'm sure if you went out to eat or had a full-blown makeout session, this would transfer literally everywhere. So just a little bit of a heads up for these. These are not matte lipsticks, but that's okay. I really like this color. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to wear this the rest of the day and take some... Instagram photos in it because I'm obsessed. Okay guys, and that is everything that I have for this Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick and Velvet Trap Lipstick Try On Haul. Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments which lipstick shade that I tried on today was your favorite, which one could you see yourself buying. If you don't want to buy any of them, that's totally fine. I just have a lot of appreciation for Jeffree just because like, you know, he took his dream of having his own makeup line and he literally took it and ran with it and I don't care how you feel about him. The man knows formula. The man knows makeup. He knows what he's doing and I will always and forever be a huge fan of his lipsticks and his eyeshadows and everything in between. I think they're great. I had so much fun doing this. It has been a long time since I have done any sort of lip swatch video so I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did in fact enjoy this video, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button i do upload every three to four days here but as the rest of you i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video gothic girl out bye guys